Hello 7 citizens, my name is Black and welcome to my channel, Casa Black Gaming. But I doubt this is your first time here, and I just know you've made your way back up through this beginner guide series and are now on one of the stations nearby the starter planet that you began your adventure on and are ready for what's next. So what is next? These starter stations are only a step toward more gameplay and no matter whether you choose to stay or move on to another station, you need to know what these stations offer and sometimes what they don't offer. So this video will be shorter than the last one but still very important. Now if you like my guides then definitely check out my ship loadouts, reviews, and also roadmap coverage where I discuss what to look forward to in the next couple of patches. If you need further help with direct questions then feel free to drop on by my discord where me and others are there to answer questions or to just talk about our favorite ships or newest rumors. And so with the channel housekeeping out of the way let's go ahead and get to this guide. So the very first and most important thing you need to do after putting up your ship on a station that you have never been to before but want to make it your new home is to find the medical clinic. Most orbiting stations or Lagrange stations now have medical clinics with Port Olisar overhead from Crusader being one of the main exceptions so if you're there you will need to go somewhere else which in the last video guide number six I pointed players to head to crew L1 instead so those players should be there. Anyway with Without the need to take an elevator, you should be able to find the clinic pretty easily. Their entrances all look like this. Now once inside, you'll be looking for a set of terminals that have this signage overhead saying Olympus Principal Insurance. You walk up to the terminal, press F to go into the touchscreen mode and touch to start. Then push the transfer imprint button and then confirm. You have now successfully transferred your spawn point to the station that was from the beginner planet that you started at. And so from here until you change it, after you die, your body will be regened back here. Later on, when you are ready to relocate, just do the same thing at whatever station that you want to be located from. Now if you want to be respawned on a planet, you will need to visit one of the hospitals there. There are only two ships at the moment that you can set your respawn to, which is the Carrick and the 890 jump. This only works so long as that ship is out so if it's destroyed or you store it you will lose that respawn and it will reset back to your original planet that you started on. Now another use a medical clinic or hospital has is healing your injuries that you can sustain or to replenish fluids or your hunger. This is not a medical guide per se, but just know that there are three different tiers of injuries and so three different tiers of medical beds, which not all ships with medical beds can treat, so going to a physical hospital will be needed. If you happen to be too badly injured, you are able to go into the missions tab to call out a rescue beacon and someone can offer you medical aid to you for a cost. Now, if you happen to be able to make it to a medical facility on your own, then you would go to the entrance, find the patient check-in terminals near the reception desk. Then just touch the screen and it will direct you to a medical room. Once you find the proper room number, you enter the bed and if you have a more serious injury, you might need to go into the screen and do the treatment through that way. Okay, so while we're here at a medical clinic, let me show you some basic med supplies that you can purchase. Find the pharmacy, which is normally near the entrance. Then use the terminal. There are med pens and if you change the filter to personal weapons you will see the paramed medical device which I would honestly buy.
you could also buy the paramed refill, which is the ammo for that medical gun, so to speak. You could also buy some of the standard med pens or oxygen pens, as these can come in handy out in the field. Then after you've bought what you want, equip the medical gun and be sure to drag at least one of the med gun refills into one of your ammo slots so you don't run out. If you're injured out in the verse, you can push C if you have a med pen on you for a quick heal. After the med pen is pulled out, just push your mouse left click to self-medicate yourself. You can also use a med pen to medicate another player. Now if you need more healing, you can pull out your med gun by pressing 4 and then you can press B to turn the gun on yourself and then left click your mouse and hold it down to medicate yourself until you're healed. Now most stations also have a Galleria where the weapons, armor, or ship component stores will be located along with various foods and a small space bar as well. In order to find the Galleria, you need to first find the proper elevator. Now on space stations, there are two different types of elevators. One that takes you within the station's different levels, so the Galleria, the hangars and halves, or a cargo or refinery facility if that station has one of those. No one station has everything that you need, but any of the L1, such as Crew L1, Arc L1, Her L1, and Mick L1, all have a medical facility and a weapon and armor stores. Now this is handy to know because having a weapons or armor store together is not usually found at most of the other locations. All right, now back to the elevators. This is the correct elevator to travel to to the Galleria. It has this green sign saying Interstation Transit. The other elevator, which is this one, is just for the halves where you wake up after logging in and take it down. If you log out on this station, or if this station is the last place that you visited before logging out, so let's say you left this station and then went out mining, or doing a bunker, or whatever, and you simply just logged out while on your ship, or let's say you could have even, the server could have crashed. Now when you log back in, you would be here at this station. Now there are some ships that have regular beds on them that allow you to log out from them, and then at that point you would just log back into the game and wake up on your ship, but you have to specify that by laying in the ship bed, then pressing F to bring up the menu to log out. Some of you may have armor and weapons from the starter planet guide where I showed you on those planets if it was available how to obtain those. I'm not going to walk through all that again in great detail, but I will show you the stores here and purchase a couple of things and give some tips on what you can or cannot find at these stores. Just keep in mind there is no all-in-one place that has everything, even when it comes to armor shops or weapon shops. Traveling around the verse for supplies is part of the game. Now when it comes to buying armor, you will be limited on what you can buy depending on the station you're at. The various stations have different armor pieces and color options when it comes to the three different types of armor. You have light, medium, and heavy, with the damage reduction stats based on those. The only thing I would caution about here is that some of the heavy armors do cause clipping and visual issues while using a sniper rifle, so I would wear medium if that's what you intend to do. Also with backpacks, it was mentioned on the Starter Planet video but in case you missed it, you need to make sure you match up the correct size backpack with the correct armor chest size, which is light, medium, or heavy. With weapon shops on these stations, your choice in guns will be limited. You are not going to find sniper rifles or rail guns or some of the larger guns on these stations, but you can find their ammo here, so keep that in mind. Also, some of these shops will sell you multi-tools and drinks, while others don't. If you happen to need a multi-tool, which of course I always suggest having, you can also find them on the cargo or refinery deck in their own supply shops on those decks. Some stations might have a refinery deck, such as the L1 stations. And then some will have cargo decks, such as those that are usually orbiting the planets. 
As for the ship stores, some places have ship weapon stores, or ship component stores, or maybe even both. If there's weapons or components that you're looking for to upgrade for your specific ship, your best bet is to use my loadout videos where I show you the parts and weapons that I recommend, and I also display easy to see graphics showing you which locations have which parts, so you can plan out an efficient route to gather up the parts that you need and know their cost ahead of time. There are some parts, such as the Size 1 Quantum Drive Atlas, that are only available at one store in the entire verse. And so in the next video in this guide just happens to be a guide on where and how to get that engine, so be sure to watch that video next. As mentioned above, your L1 stations will have these refinery decks. This is a great place to go and rent a vehicle if you need one, or... to buy mining parts, such as the mining laser, modules, or gadgets that can help you break various sized ore asteroids or rock chunks and offer up bonuses to specific stats to help you get the most out of what you're trying to mine. Now update 319 has a ton of great new features for mining, so this store will be a must if you plan on mining. The heat undersuit, which is the Pembroke, is also available to purchase here and is necessary if you plan on being outdoors on the hot moon such as Aberdeen. And when you do go out and mine with a prospector or mole ship, the upstairs office location is where you will be setting up your refinery jobs when you bring that ore back. Keep in mind that usually the more time the refining, the better the profit. There will be much more to go into about mining in the future, so keep an eye out for those guides later. The stations orbiting the major planets usually have a cargo deck, which is a good place to rent some early level cargo ships to get your feet wet with that. There's also a cargo supply shop where you can buy a more cargo themed armor set that I actually happen to like. You can also buy the multi-tool here. and drinks, food, and other supplies, not to mention a tiny 1 8 SCU box that really can't hold much. We're hoping for bigger boxes to be sold pretty soon. The cold undersuit, the Novikov, which is something you might need if outdoors long on the colder moon, such as Lyria or on the planet Microtech, is sold here as well. Okay, and that's gonna do it for this seventh part of the guide, giving you all of the relevant details that you need for what is and what is not on some of the various space stations. I have a great guide on which planets and stations match up with various professions, so that is one that I recommend that you check out. Now, I know you're ready to get out into the verse, so do go ahead and watch the next part, number eight, in this series, because we're about to fly from the station you're currently at to go purchase our first vehicle part, which for many of you is greatly needed because it it is the size one quantum drive which is in so many of the smaller ships you have bought and there's only one place to buy it and so let's get on it now remember to be kind to your fellow gamer home is where you hang your helmet and stay positive citizens